So in the previous video, I introduced uh, how we're going to be working with the roots of quadratic equations. So I introduced alpha and beta. So let's say that for both of these equations, I want to find the sum of the roots and the product of the roots. Okay, so I want to find alpha plus beta and alpha beta for each of these examples. In these problems, uh, we're not going to be looking for specifically what the roots are. So we're not looking for the values of alpha and beta. We can do that. We can work with the quadratic formula to find that. We're looking for the sum and the product of the roots and the manipulation we can use with that and what we can do with that. So x squared minus 5x plus 7 equals 0. Now, in the previous video, when I expanded x minus alpha, x minus beta, you get to x squared minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equals 0. So from that, it's very easy to identify that the alpha plus beta must be 5, and the alpha beta must be 7, just looking at it straight from there. So alpha beta in this case must be 5, and the alpha beta must be 7. If you're looking at an equation of this format, though, these are not instantly comparable because this is x squared, but this is 3x squared. So you must divide through by 3 first before you do anything. So we've got x squared plus 8 over 3x minus 9 over 3, so 3 is 0. So now you can look at this and say, well, looking at that, alpha plus beta must be minus 8 thirds to cancel with that minus. So that must be minus 8 thirds. And the alpha beta must be minus 3. Okay? And that's how we can identify the sum and the product of the roots.